Hey, if you have very little equity or you owe more than your home is worth, it can be really difficult to find a lender able to help you do a refinance. I'll tell you, HARP, Housing Affordability Refinance Program, is a refinancing program for just these kinds of situations. As long as you remain current on your mortgage and have a mortgage that's owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, you may be eligible. This isn't new, but HARP has a few changes that may make it easier for those who need it and to help you get it. So, how can HARP help you? Here's six great ways that might benefit you. Number one, it can lower your monthly payments. Number two, lower your interest rate. Number three, you can lock in a new fixed rate if you've got an arm or if you've had some sort of a change in your mortgage. Number five, you may build up equity faster because the rates are lower, and maybe a better term. Number six, it's going to lower your closing costs if you don't need an appraisal, which might be possible. The HARP program changes include no underwater limit, so it can be way underwater. Previously, the loan to value limits were set at 125%, so the loan could only be 125% of the value. But now borrowers can refinance regardless of how far their homes have fallen in value. No appraisals or underwriting. Most homeowners will not have to pay for an appraisal or have their loan underwritten like in normal circumstances, making their refinance process smoother and faster. Modified fees. Certain risk-based fees for borrowers who refinance into shorter term loans have been reduced and less paperwork. Lenders now need less paperwork for income verification and often have the option of qualifying a borrower by documenting the borrower that they at least have 12 months mortgage payments in reserve. Program deadlines. The new end date to get a HARP loan is going to be December 31, 2016, and you never know if they're going to extend that. So if you or someone you know that you care about is in this situation, there may be help out there. Now for minding your own business. So how do free internet companies like Google and Facebook make so much money? AdWords. AdWords are huge. Advertising dollars have made Facebook and Google amongst the richest companies in the world. Just go to the Bay Area. You'll see Google cars all over the place. Google made over $100 million in two areas, search advertising and 238 million Google ad clicks per day. And Google is the most popular search engine in the world. So, why should real estate agents care about AdWords? Well, 90% of homeowners search for their dream home online during the home buying process. So, real estate related searches grew 253% over the last four years on Google. AdWords are considered a PPC or pay per click strategy type ad where you set your daily or monthly limit on how much money you want to spend, and Google will decide exactly how to charge you based on your current search ranking and indexed content. So, in other words, you want to have good content that they can search. Every time someone clicks on your ad, you're charged up to your spending limit and then your ad is gone until the next day or month. If you aren't getting much traffic to your website, this can be a great strategic process and way to get more traffic to your website. You may want to consider AdWords as part of your marketing strategy to get seen and to be found. Check it out and if you decide to give it a try, hey, let me know how it works for you. I'd really be interested. And now for a couple great new listings in our area. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. We're always here to help. Let us know if we can help any of your borrowers get pre-approved or answer any questions for you. And have a great week.